Are you open to God doing something new in your life? Him to maybe change your plans and doing something brand new that you've never even dreamed of? That's what we're going to talk about today. Now listen to this statement. If you can't let go of your now, you'll never grab hold of your new. Oh, that's good, y'all. You got to let go of your now to grab hold of your new. Now, have you ever thought that God just might want to do something new in your life? And you know, the chances are when he does something new, it's probably not going to look like anything that you've ever experienced before. Why? He wants to grow us. He wants to get us out of our comfort zone because he really does have amazing things in store. The scripture says in Isaiah 43, 19, Behold, I, God, am doing a new thing. God wants to do something new in your life. F. Scott Fitzgerald said this, It's never too late to become who you want to be. I hope you live a life that you're proud of, and if you find that you're not, I hope you have the strength to start over. I love that. You know, we all know change isn't easy, but it's going to happen in our lives. We may not like it, but sooner or later, we're going to be faced with situations that really do pull us out of our comfort zones. Situations that challenge us to grow and stretch us beyond our limits. Y'all, that's inevitable. And we can either be open to the change and growth, or we can shrink back remain the same, and stay in our comfort zone. You know, if you think about things in your life that have happened, that maybe it was a trial, maybe it was an obstacle, maybe it was just a difficult time, the most difficult time in your life, chances are you probably remember details like you've never even thought of. You know, like I can remember when my dad passed away in 1999, He passed away at 454. I can remember the scenario. I can remember it like it was yesterday because it made a profound impact on my life. It was a monumental moment that made a lasting impact. Now, for me and my family, you know, we weren't expecting my dad to die. He'd been sick for a while, but honestly, I didn't think he was going to die. I'm the youngest kid, and you know, that just doesn't, doesn't enter my mind or it didn't enter my mind. So his death was a shock to all of us. Now, he lived a long, good life. He was 77 years old. Do you know almost instantly after my father's death, six minutes later, the news was on in his hospital room. A reporter got on there and announced Daddy's death, and then he gave the statistics of if a son or daughter took over the church. You know what those statistics said? That the church would more than likely fail. Tell you something, y'all, that wasn't good news. We weren't expecting my dad to die. And then just six minutes later, we have this reporter that's giving us news that we didn't want to hear. See, you have to come at it from our perspective. My dad and mom had pastored that church for well over 40 years. And now all of us, all of my brothers and sisters and I had the weight of this church on our shoulders. Didn't know how we were going to pastor a church. We didn't know how we would ever fill my dad's shoes. It was too much for our minds to conceive. We didn't know how it was going to work. And on top of that, I was two weeks away from delivering my fourth baby. It was hard for me because my dad had been there for the birth of all my other kids, and I couldn't fathom him not seeing my new baby. Now listen, even though we didn't have it all figured out, God did. He showed up in a big way, thank the Lord. The process of moving on without our dad, it was so difficult and it was challenging because we were all stepping up into something new, something we hadn't done before. We were being so stretched out of our comfort zone, y'all, that it wasn't even funny. (laughs) The great news, God was always there. and He was leading us every step of the way. Doesn't mean it wasn't difficult, but thank God he was faithful. Now, I can't even imagine what would have happened if we would have all crumbled under pressure after daddy's death. Things wouldn't have turned out the way they are now. We could have missed out on the next thing God wanted us to do with the church and within the lives of each of us. You know, sometimes our lives have to be shaken up to get us to the place that we're destined to be. And it's often in the chaos and the uncertainty of our lives that we find our direction and we also find our purpose. I just want to encourage you today. Don't stay within the limits of what you already know. Don't get comfortable living the way you've lived for all these years. Let me tell you what I know from experience. Fear will keep you stuck. 
Fear will keep you doing the same thing. Fear will keep you from stepping out of your comfort zone. Fear will decide what kind of life you're gonna live. Fear will keep you from your God-given destiny. So don't make decisions in the now that hurt you in the next. Okay, you know I gotta say that again. Don't make decisions in the now that hurt you in the next. In other words, don't allow fear to keep you from the new. Don't be afraid to start over. Don't be afraid to step out in faith. Listen, God has never left you before and he's not about to do it now. You're stronger than you know. And God will never ask you to let go of something unless he intends to replace it with something better. So let go of the things that are holding you back. Stop applying an old formula to a new way of living. I'm going to amen that myself. Listen, sometimes you got to change the formula. Sometimes you got to change the pattern. You got to change the behavior. You got to take on that new mindset, a new way of thinking, a new way of doing, a new way of living. So stretch yourself, outgrow yourself, dare to discover new things. Charter uncomfortable territories. Forget about yesterday and get a new perspective. Get excited about the new thing that God wants to do in your life. Listen to this quote. A mind that is stretched by a new experience can never go back to its old dimensions. There is truth in the saying that old keys will never open new doors. So my encouragement again to you is tell yourself, I'm not going to walk in fear. I'm excited and willing to try new things. I'm gonna dream outside of my comfort zone. I'm gonna stretch my faith. I'm gonna grow and learn and step into new territory. I'm gonna let go and I'm gonna move forward. Fear is not gonna have any part of my life. I refuse to have a limited mindset. I'm open to God doing a new thing in my life. I'm confident if God starts it, He will finish it and He will help me every step of the way. I hope you've been inspired today and I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Again, thank you for watching and until next time, I hope you have an amazing day.